Okay, so now if we want to make that undersea kind of lighting, uh, the key here is that we need sort of an atmosphere. So we have lighting in here already. So let's just render this out. Okay, we've got fish in there. Actually, I want a few more fish, I think. Um, and because we're working with mash, go back to the original distribute and reduce the voxel size. So now we've got a bunch more fish and maybe I'll reduce their randomization of rotation a little bit. Okay, so now we should have some more fish in here. Let's render this again. Okay, so that's a little more full looking. And I could put the shader on the fish to make it look more fish-like. Um, but the lighting is very stark here. It's just a single um, area light. Let's just move this over here so we can look at these two things together. So what we want to do is first add some atmosphere into the scene. And that doesn't happen in the lights. Instead, you go into the render settings. And under the Arnold tab, go down to environment, atmosphere, and click on the checkerboard and add not a fog, but an atmosphere volume. And then turn up the density a bit. So it's really just a little bit. And it makes it look like there are particles in the scene like this. We can turn up the attenuation so it falls off a little more quickly over space. And we can change the color if we want to. Here. So, you know, this is working pretty well. So I can, if I keep turning up the density, it just occludes the scene, right? So you just have to be a little bit careful. Maybe that's a little too dark. So we need at least some fog to occlude our view a little bit. So the next thing we may want to have happen is have sort of shadows appear in the scene. Um, the caustics that are being light that's being refracted by the shape of the water. Um, and I think there must be a way to do it with the area light, but I can never make it work. So I'm just going to turn this off. It's an interesting look, actually, when you say illuminates by default, um, it does not illuminate the object, but it still illuminates the fog. But there is no alpha channel. So you could render this out to make an interesting look, but there's no alpha channel for that. Um, so what we're going to do is just turn this one down to zero. So we've got no light in the scene. Pause our render and add instead just a spotlight. So this is a typical Maya spotlight. We can also use this with, with Arnold. But it has a feature that the area lights don't seem to, called the gobo, which makes all of this a lot easier. So in the spotlight, see it has an intensity up here, but then under the Arnold setting, we have to turn the exposure up. Something like this. Maybe even higher, I guess. So here we get these sort of nice... Um, volumetric shadows and we can turn up the cone angle and here now it's a little too bright and we can move it up a little higher in the scene turn up the intensity and we can adjust the penumbra so the penumbra softens the edge of the light the drop-off softens it from the center out. We're getting very um, sharp shadows under here, which is maybe not what we want. Uh, but for now, let's just go with it. So in this spotlight under at the bottom here, under light filters, we can add a gobo. So it's a go-between. 
And what a gobo allows you to do is in the slide map, add a texture. So something like a noise texture. And so it's causing some light shadows to stream through here. So we can adjust things like the amplitude, the type of noise it is. Let's try a different one. I just want to try 2D texture here. Simplex noise. Okay, so simplex noise, you can see it's got sharper definition between black and white here. So we're seeing more of the streaming light going through here. And we can move this around and you can see this could be animated, you know, to change the lighting conditions. This makes a nice light on the ground as well. We still could turn on our um, area light if we just want to add a little more light into the scene, just to brighten things up. So we can, you know, use our um, spotlight to get that kind of streaming quality and giving some of the caustics on the ground. And then the area light here just to brighten the scene up a little bit and it still lights up the volume um, but it doesn't have that streakiness so it's a nice combo of the two I'm just gonna go back into the spotlight go into the gobo and into the slide map <laughs> and you can change the different types of things here cellular ridged this is kind of interesting because that almost looks like light caustics and there you go so we can make something like this and make an interesting underwater lighting effect just using two lights and on the spotlight using a gobo uh, but make sure that you have the atmosphere volume turned on and we can always go back into here and increase this so there's more fog so we can see less and we can also change the color here so we can have darker blue or brighter blue or even go closer to white. There's not so much color in the scene. And finally, let's just add a shader to the ground. So assign a new material here. And of course we want the Arnold AI standard surface and I'll use the clay preset. Right, so that looks kind of interesting. So there you go. We've gone from just a simple sphere um, and a simple object to go through a number of steps to make an underwater scene with a fishing net and a bunch of fish in it. Hope this is useful. Thanks.